What's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are listening or watching this wonderful channel from this is John Gillis Entertainment. They will give you all this of all the trends, all the happenings in Nigeria, Africa and globally. If you are new here, be kind enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you will get to I upload hot new trending content. We have so much in the entertainment industry. I've and, and I found this quite amusing. Let me share with, share with you guys. Someone dropped this message that so women are something else. Seriously. What was the point of hiring someone to hit on or flirt with your husband or boyfriend? All in the name of loyalty test law. Now, Ogadon for now, Ogadon follow like our Naira. Marriage of five years don't scatter. So who will you blame? Wife will set trap or husband when enter trap. Who will you blame? Or who you will blame? For this matter, let us assume you are the judge of this matter. Who would you blame? The the wife or the husband? Please, the comment section is open for everybody to drop his or her comments below. Well, still talking about love stories. Love is trending. Big ups to Singa Devido and Chioma. Congratulations to them. They are back together. I did that in one of my videos. That is like Devido and Chioma. They are uh, they are back together because they're being. They were seen walking together. Yeah, that is true. They are back together. Recently, we saw the video Choma in a club having a good time. Yeah, they are having a good time. Hanging out. And people are so happy to see this. We remember the video dropped the song where he used Choma in the uh, uh, video Assurance. Calling Choma his assurance. And all of it, 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 it sudden, the video fucked up. Everybody fucked up. Who never fuck up? Put your hands up. <laughs> Everybody fucked up. Yeah. But I think he has apologized and they are back together. And in one of my videos I dropped, I said something about Sophia Mahmoud. Mahmoud do that. She has unfollowed the video and the video also unfollowed her. Drama. In, in other words, Sophia was still in love with singer. The video. There's one good thing about the video. It doesn't mean his children's birthday or his baby mama's birthday. He's always there to wish her happy birthday, buy them gift. And the video is a lover boy. A good lover boy indeed. Someone dropped this message that I genuinely wish Sophia Mahmoud can move on completely from the video and all his, his drama. Co parents in peace and just be happy in life. Enough is enough. The constant hate follow and on follow the trolling and all. Sophia, I hope that you see this. You are beautiful. Sophia is beautiful. I think she should move on because they will follow today, tomorrow, they will um, follow each other. I mean, they'll be going up and down, back and forth. It's not funny at all. It's not funny at all. Well, we wish Sophia all the best. And we also wish the video all the best. And Chioma, there's one thing about love. If you love somebody, no matter what happens, love is stronger than money, whether we like it or not. There's some people that will be following money. And at the end of the day, they will still do what they are not supposed to do with the people they are in love with. Well, see, the entertainment industry, so much has been happening. Users have been dropping songs back to back. As I said, <laughs> earlier in most of my videos that these new generation artists they are not here to play they are here to overthrow the old generation artists whether i like it or not they are doing their best and the industry is super competitive 20, september 2022 10 most supported artists asake is number one on the list ballad number two Wonder boy number three erika number four young boy never broke again number five Black Sheriff, number six. Naila Blackman, number seven. Alkali, number eight. Bella Shmuda, number nine. And Portable, number ten. Asake, Asake has been trending. Big ups to singer Asake. We know if the next rated is coming, that is if and only if no artist will come to take over Asake, Asake will definitely win the, the next rated. Today is Friday, 30th of September, 2022. From Pulse Nigeria, New Music Friday, number one on the list, Shodan Camp, Pan Wine Music, Volume 3 album. Wow, <laughs> I just love the name of that album, Pan Wine, because I love Pan Wine. Man. Number two, Ayasta and Kelly Roland, Bloody Samaritan Remix. Have you listened to that song? What, what, what do you think about this song, the remix to Bloody, Bloody Samaritan by Ayasta, featuring Kelly Roland? Drop a comment below, please. Number three, Mobilif Udu album. Number four, S High featuring uh, Victoni and Zinoleski hypnotize. Number five, Rita Sean Uptown Girl. Number six, Pokuli Hot Kid and, and Hot Kid rather Otilo. Number seven, 
Pela Alugo and Wanda Banton. You know the song is Sugar Baby. Number eight, Jimmy Sounds and Seuss, Your Love. Number nine, King Perry, Talking La. Number ten, Be Red, Good, good Music for Bad This EP. So many good songs, so many new songs have, have been dropped. As I said, the industry is yeah, well, super competitive. At, um, at Coco Bar said, Asake has crashed our website. <laughs> Asake has been trending. Number one, number two, you just see Asake everywhere. Big also singer Asake. I mean, he's been doing very well. As I said, this music, entertainment industry is not a joke, it's very competitive. Well, let us talk about. Um, let us talk about Ruga. Ruga loves taking swipes. Recently, he, he, he took a swipe at uh, Benson. Would you call him Fatty Bomberman? Oh, they, he, they actually took swipes at each other. And now he's taking a swipe at Kiss Daniel. According to Ruga, he said, Tanzania, I am here and I don't forget my backs. Ruga says, taking a subtle jab at Kiss Daniel. We, we knew what, we remember what Kiss Daniel went through when, according to him, he forgot his back and was a, unable to perform on the same day, though he, he did perform another day. Well, we heard it from Ruga that he didn't forget his back, so he's ready to deliver. Yeah. Still talk about that. Tell me, let's move on to America. We have this news. I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> With this economy in Nigeria, 22-year-old American rapper welcomes nice child, like 22 years, nine child, like seriously? 22-year-old American rapper NDBA young boy has welcomed his ninth biological child. The young boy announced the birth of a baby boy whose mother is a rapper's fiancé, Jaslyn Mitchell. Although this is his ninth biological child, the rapper has 10 children in all. Like seriously. The couple welcomed the first child together with daughter last year. Young boy reportedly has eight other children with seven different women, including five sons and three daughters. Congratulations to him indeed. Congratulations. Let's not talk about football. Football has been trending. Football has been trending. We have this news that goals caught at age 22. Lionel Messi scored 40 goals. Cristiano Ronaldo scored 50. And we have Elaine Haaland, 170 goals. Haaland is indeed a monster. 170 goals. Like three times plus. Well, almost four times what Cristiano Ronaldo scored at the age of 22. Wow. That guy is indeed a monster. And still about football, we have this news that there's been 454 goals scored in 164 league meetings between Manchester United and Manchester City. The current goal difference is zero, with both teams having scored 227 goals each. Wow, Manchester City versus Manchester United. You guys are doing well indeed. Well, let us talk about Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth has passed on. She's dead. And she's been buried. We have this news that the royal family reveals what killed Queen Elizabeth. Like seriously, Queen Elizabeth the second died of old age. Her death certificate has revealed. The document published by National Records of Scotland on Thursday says the late British monarch died at 3:10 p.m. UK time or 10:10 a.m. ET on September 8th at Balmora Castle in Balata, Scotland. The cause of death is listed as OH. The document is signed by the Queen's daughter, Princess Annie. Britain's longest reigning monarch died peacefully at the age of 96. So now we know what killed the Queen. <laughs> she wasn't poisoned or nothing. She wasn't sick. She died of old well, age. Talking about King Charles, the Queen's son. We have this in the Royal Mint unveils image of first King Charles coin following Queen's death. King Charles III's image on coins has been revealed for the first time. The 50 penny coin is the first piece of new money that features the new monarch and will begin circulating in December. The king's portrait will first begin appearing on a special five pound coin as well as on 50 penny coin that commemorate the queen. Wow. Oh, congratulations to King Charles. We'll now start seeing his face on coin. Well, that's a good one indeed. That's a good one indeed. So the queen is dead. They'll start erasing her face from coins. Wow, that is terrible. 
We are talking about 2023. The election is by the corner, and we examine if the candidate for the first. We have this news that all presidential candidates don't do interviews everywhere. Tinubu, then they do interview. That where all pres presidential aspirants they gather, Tinubu will spend will send Shetima to represent him. Now, so we want to grow Nigeria in Asemfia that came from the desk of Tunde Ednot, and he's been trending in Nigeria. We have this news that Tinibu was absent a presidential candidate signed peace pact. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinibu, was absent on Thursday as the presidential candidate of other political parties were physically present for the signing of the now customary peace pact. However, Tinibu's running mate, Kashima, uh, uh, Kashim Rada Shetima, was present at the signing alongside Atiku. Abubakar of the People Democratic Party, P2B of the Labour Party, Rabi Ukwankwasi of the New Nigeria People's Party, amongst others. What is really happening? Now, so good around this country. Well, everybody has something to say. Don't forget to drop your comments in this wonderful channel. Be kind enough to hit the subscribe button so as to stay afloat with all the gist. See you soon.